Hey folks, Al Gomez with True Vision Media here. Today's tutorial is going to be an easy one. It's real simple, real fun, and very powerful, but doesn't really require too much as far as the skill set goes. You just need to know where to click. <laughs> so if you're like a Photoshop expert and you're watching this, uh, you're probably just going to laugh at what we're going to show you. But it's the Photo Merge utility or tool in Photoshop. Uh, photo merge is taking multiple photos and stitching them together which is the proper terminology stitching so as you can see I am from San Francisco and actually took these pictures today from Twin Peaks and that is downtown San Francisco right there that you see them just trying to align them manually so you can see what we're trying to do here and then the screens kinda not big enough to do it but anyways so let's get right into it so you're gonna open up all the pictures again uh, again I didn't mention this yet I took all these pictures freehand no tripod and that's how powerful this tool has become in Photoshop in the past it, you needed to do it on a tripod to actually line them up perfectly but you can do it freehand now uh, so we're going to file automate and photo merge yes it's that easy. Uh, so the layout, they've added a few things here that I, honestly I don't know what each one does. Perspectives, uh, uh, cylindrical, uh, reposition and interactive layout. The interactive layout is one you just move manually around. I know because I've tried it. I actually have completed this and I'm not going to trial and error each option. I'm just going to go right into the option that work for me and that's reposition but the getting back to interactive layout you actually can lay out the pictures and move them around and match them up yourself and they they snap into alignment so that uh, even though it's a manual thing Photoshop still does a little bit of work um, so the option that worked for me here and you can tool around with whatever option works for you uh, for me it was reposition in this in this example so I select that and you hit add open files and it adds whatever you have open so make sure they're open and they pop up here and all you need to do is hit OK okay and Photoshop does the rest so you can sit back you can surf the internet but it's not gonna take that long it's gonna take maybe 15 20 seconds because um, it does take a little bit of work so Photoshop is still working and we are waiting you could maybe text some oh there we go alright so just by looking at that, I mean, it's almost perfect already. Okay, you can see a few slight imperfections here with the sky, only because of the the gradient of and the texture of the sky. I mean, it's to me, I can notice it. Um, but if you didn't know how this photo was put together, I mean, it wouldn't be something that you'd be looking for. It's just I know, I know where the imperfections are going to be, and it's typically in the sky the buildings match up perfectly and I'll just zoom in I mean you can't tell where I mean I mean it's 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 perfect almost so we'll just back that up so from here it's still layered um, what I do is I go ahead and I flatten it and you can go to layer flatten image and it combines all the images so now you have one photo to work with and I've already uh, completed this but what you would do is you would go ahead and get the selection tool rectangular marquee tool and just go ahead and cut this bad boy out as you can see in the top and the bottom uh, because it had to align it there's some inconsistencies there so you're just gonna take the biggest portion here and that looks good so we're gonna hit edit hit cut and I'm going to close out of that hit no and then you would go to file new and by default whatever's in your clipboard if you have it selected um, will be the, the the dimensions that it's that it uh, that it has so you just hit OK and if you hit control V boom I mean it it's almost like finished and you don't really have to work on it but the thing that I do is I could notice the stuff here you can see where the stitching took place uh, you can go to the healing brush and just kind of highlight your source material right next to it and just paint where you see 
the imperfections. And if you just let that work, I mean, that looks good. And then you can do it over here as well. So actually, it might turn out better than the one I did earlier. And again, you can't really t see. Okay, you can kind of still see that. So, and that and that actually looks pretty good as is. So I'm going to just close that out and show you the one I did create earlier. And that's Twin Peaks 2. And let me just show you how huge that is. 152. Hold on, 152 megabyte file. Can you imagine trying to send that thing out? Okay, so I'll open that. And that'll take a second because it is huge. And boom, there you go. San Francisco in its entirety. I think I actually have it from the Golden Gate Bridge over here all the way to the Bay Bridge, which is over here. So pretty cool. I'm actually thinking about getting this printed out. As you can tell, it's seven percent. So I mean, this thing is huge and would definitely work as a poster. So I'm actually kind of proud of this one. But uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. It's definitely easy and something that you can do today if you like. Um, until next time, talk to you later. Bye bye.